Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to Art of Awakening. My name is Ona, and today we're going to be talking about the sixth great hermetic principle or universal spiritual law, the law of cause and effect. simple law to understand at its most basic level and then basically what it says is that everything happens for a reason nothing happens for no reason okay every cause has an effect so everything that's done has consequences and every effect everything that you see happening has a cause something created or set that in motion to have that consequence and to have that effect. Okay, so pretty simple idea to understand, but what I love about this law is that it helps us to understand what's going on around us in ways that if you really start paying attention with an understanding of this law, it gives you a, a much higher view, a higher perspective of what's going on, and it really helps you to avoid a lot of the illusions that get you into trouble. So let's look at it in light of some of the other universal spiritual laws or principles, because that's when we start to really understand kind of the, the consequences and how to work with this law. First of all, let's look at this, the, the principle of cause and effect as it relates to the first universal principle, which is the principle of all mind. And I also like to call it the law of divine oneness, because what that states is that everything that exists is part of one universal mind or consciousness, all right? And so when we start looking at cause and effect in light of that divine oneness, then we realize that because we are all part of this one universal mind, anything that happens in, in the totality of existence in the entire universe will actually affect us in some way, right? And Conversely, everything that we do, every thought, word, action that 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 comes out of us, somehow will affect the entirety of the universe. Right. So I really like to think of this as the principle of personal responsibility, because this principle kind of leads us to realize that as individuals, your being here actually really does make a difference at a universal level you may not understand exactly how much and it may not even become apparent until well after you're gone from this planet but it does make a difference okay so let's look at the next spiritual law in comparison here with this principle of cause and effect and that is the the law of correspondence as above so below which means that we're going to see the same patterns or similar patterns happening at various levels, like the personal level, the cellular level, the molecular level, right? Uh, and then from the personal level on up to the interpersonal or, you know, relationship level on up to the societal level and even the level of the planets and the great universal bodies, right? We see the same patterns happening. And so with this law of cause and effect, you know, when we keep that in mind, we can start recognizing these patterns, right? So if you've lived through certain experiences and you start analyzing those experiences through the lens of the law of cause and effect, if you start to look at, oh, okay, well, this happened here and this created vibration within me right a, a, an emotion and this is how I reacted and then this was the consequence of that you can see these little patterns starting to show up um, and then when you become familiar with patterns like that through the law of correspondence you can start to recognize patterns 
you know, that you've lived through, maybe in the personal level, you can start to see them happening on the societal level, okay? And so what the law of cause and effect does is that it's going to allow you, when you see certain things happening, certain patterns forming in the co collective, say, you can start to predict what is likely to happen next based on your experiences on the personal and vice versa. Once you get a deeper understanding of certain patterns, it gives you a lot of not just power, but the ability to prepare for eventualities, to prepare for things in advance. And finally, let's take a look at the principle of cause and effect in relation to the principle of rhythm, the idea that things happen in cycles. And here is where it's super, super important to be aware of these principles, because when you're aware of the principles, you start to understand the value of history and being aware of historical trends and what has happened in the past and to start to see certain patterns based on what has happened in, in various cycles of history. This too will give you some power and some predictive power to be able to make decisions, informed decisions based on historical patterns that, and, and, and when you see certain things happening, it can give you an idea of, well, this is the likely outcome of it and what can I do? either to, to prepare for it or to take advantage of that opportunity or, you know, bring yourself to a safer position. Okay, so that's all for now. If you haven't seen my previous videos on the Universal Spiritual Laws, numbers one through five, you can check out this playlist right here. And then be sure to subscribe if you want to catch my next Universal Law video, which I'll be releasing within a few weeks. That will be the Law of Gender. Hit that like button below and remember you were born to be free.